So here is the Vanguish Yeti XL rear end, rear differential. And I went with Hot Racing aluminum brackets. Now this one fits like a glove on here. It fits perfectly. The support that goes across the top of the differential um, housing bracket here. Um, I also got the uh, Hot Racing aluminum differential housing. So this is the original plastic one. I got to put that on. But the Hot Racing makes these aluminum pieces that slide onto the axles and they just don't fit. So I had to I had to Dremel. I don't know if we can see here. Let's see if I can put it at an angle, but I had to Dremel out every other groove on here so that this would fit on the Vanguish rear housing. A little time consuming. The plastic one fit on there nice and tight, but Hot Racing one just isn't designed to go on the Vanguish aluminum housing. So I got all these uh, I got all these ground down. They fit on there nice and perfect here. They're not loose. So now I have my rear end with all the aluminum on them. And uh, Hot Racing is making some nice stuff for this uh, this Yeti XL. So there, there is my uh, my rear aluminum housing. What was what was happening was is the plastic is flexing, and you probably can't see on this, but the gears are starting to. Actually, some of them were were broken off because it's flexing. There's some clicking noises I'm hearing when you're playing. You can hear the click, 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 and that's the gears clicking in there because they're wearing out or breaking off. So this one here is missing. It's probably hard to see in the camera. But anyway, so I went with the aluminum uh, rear end here so there's no flex. The gears will be meshed the way they're supposed to be and they won't be able to pull apart. So, there you have it. I'll be putting this on my uh, Yeti XL and we will have uh, a tough rear end on that thing. Bye-bye-bye.